In the previous lessons, we've talked about citations in two different ways, as a key step in the research process and as a way to identify reliable sources. In this lesson, you're going to learn about intellectual property, or IP, which is the underpinning of why we cite. You will also learn about plagiarism, what it is, and how to avoid it. First of all, what is intellectual property? According to the World Intellectual Property Organization, intellectual property refers to creations of the mind, such as inventions, literary and artistic works, designs, and symbols, names, and images used in commerce. Anyone can create intellectual property, and there are numerous laws that protect your rights to what you create. However, there are three main ways your IP is protected. Trademarks, patents, and the one we are going to focus on, copyright. 